James, a good victory against the South Wales side that, that came up here and probably hoped to, to turn uh, turn Lunslet over. Um, I would say so. I think the results have shown that they've been competing really well in the game. So, Whitehaven and Newcastle pretty close you know, up until the final stages of both of them games. So, um, we, we didn't take them lightly and we prepared we prepared well for the game and you know, on the back of a, a gutsy performance, I would say last week, you know, we smartened a few bits and pieces up, and uh, I thought we, I thought we performed quite well. And the performance last week it probably gave some players a bit of confidence, but he still made some changes this uh, this week, um, and gave some more of the halfbacks a, a chance to, to shine, and, and certainly some of the rugby in that second half and some of the tries showed that confidence growing in the players. Uh, we've got a squad, you know, 25, 26 players now. So <coughs> out of them players, I've got nobody who I don't want to play. Um, and I'm confident in every single one of us. Obviously, the the balance between which players get selected is important. You know, we need enough middles and enough back rowers, enough centres and, and outside backs, things like that. So, you know, the balance has got to be right. But you know, I'm happy to slot anyone in. You know, the wrong position at, at any point, and I think they'll do a job, which is really pleasing for me as a coach that we've got a really competitive you know, squad. Uh, looking at some of the tries in the second half, there was some nice interplay between players and that shows that they're now starting to get their confidence to back people <coughs> thinking that players may make a, a, a bust uh, through a tackle um, and, and some sh nice short passing. Is, is that something that you've been working on? Yeah, we've been encouraging people to play square, you know, and play straight and, and push the next door. That's something we've been doing since since we first got here it was a big area of improvement that we thought you know that the squad needed and I think we've we've seen today that they, they're understanding that and the, the, they've got the energy to make them type of players so it's encouraging to, to watch I think what else is that it's dry as well you know the drier it gets you know the more of that you should see you know when it's when it's wet people can close the inside down a little bit better because the ball's slower um, and it makes it more difficult to play that way but you know, tracks dried up and it's going to suit suit our style of play. Quite surprising for a Sunday afternoon at South Leeds that the sun was shining. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so a, 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 a drier track obviously looks as though it's going to suit the players a little bit better than obviously what we've been through so far in pre-season and the season so far where most games have been played in, in damp conditions. Yeah, we're not we're not on overly big side. You know, we saw that last week. We're probably a lot smaller than Doncaster um, but we've got pl plenty of skill and you know the, the lads want to ask questions of the day and today they really had the opportunity to do that and we scored some nice tries on the back of it uh, You're backing up on a short turn round uh, with the Easter programme coming up um, Keithley away um, it, it's difficult ground to go to just with the slope <coughs> and such so again what sort of things do you prepare for with playing uphill or playing downhill does it no, no, does it affect the players? Does it affect the way that they pass? Or no, it's in your head. No, it's not that big of an hill. <laughs> it's not that battle. Uh, you've got to play up it for half a game. You got to play down it for half a game. So you've just got to get your head around it and go and do your job. You know, the, you still got to tackle people. You still <laughs> you still got to run the ball. And you still got to be able to catch and pass. So just because there's a little bit of a slope on the field, it, it's not something that should determine your performance. Um, you can use it to your advantage at some points, but it's got pros and cons both both ways. When you're playing downhill, it's harder to retreat defensively. When you're playing, you know, when you're playing uphill, it's harder obviously to attack. The, the, the rules that have changed this year, particularly with the going, the ball going out and uh, dead in goal and, and giving seven tackles away, do you have to prepare your kicking game a little bit more when you've <coughs> got sloping pitches where the ball is likely to run away? Um, I think your short kicking game has got to be good you know it can really ball going dead whether it's 7 tackles or 6 tackles from inside the 20 is a big no no you've got a massive retreat to make and the ball's coming straight at you and you're on the back foot um, ball going dead from inside your own end you know if it happens 10 times in a game you've got to make 10 more tackles collectively across the team it's one more tackle each you know lads are making 40 and 50 tackles in a game so you know 45 to 46 to me isn't isn't a major issue so if, if the ball goes dead yeah it's not great that they've got seven tackles but you know the same breath it's only one more effort mm -hmm.
we've got to deal with that. Okay. Well, all the best for, for next week. Um, congratulations on the, on the result today and the style of play, I think, more than anything. <coughs> there was a, a performance there with people that were, were starting to back each other up, which is always nice to see on a, on a good yeah, side. I think the boys enjoy doing it, so mm -hmm. it's good for me to watch them come off smiling. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate.